Hi everybody. So the deal is um, that tornado that came through, um, it put my house out of power. I've, I've been off the grid for a minute, haven't been able to use Twitter, I, I've been running off of our, our backup generator, and my vape no longer is charging, so that's going to be an issue. I haven't heard from my parents in three days. I have heard nothing from upstairs. The door stayed shut. I don't want to see what's going on out there. I, I don't want to see the fallout. I do not want to see the carnage that has been unleashed. So in the meantime, since it's summertime and people always talk about their summer albums, it's time to talk about um, the best summer album of all time. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. And I'll explain why. Uh, is this it by the Strokes? Summertime, great time for music. Some people see their favorite summer album would be Flower Boy. That's a good pick, but it's not the right pick. Um, people may say, oh, I know, last year FM was a pretty good summer album, even though it wasn't in the summer. Good album. Um, I can't think of any more summer albums off the top of my head because any other ones that aren't this are the wrong choice. So let me distinguish my lighter for a second so I can show you guys the album art. I have it right here. If this is the right one, and I didn't just fuck up everything in my... It's so dark in here, I don't, I don't know where anything's at. I dropped the record. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway. Here's the album art. Is That's It by The Strokes. If you're from the United Kingdom, or you find the version on YouTube, the album art's actually a girl's butt, if you're into that, because you're a sinner. Um, I always listen to this one, because I'm not a sinner. I don't like looking at girls' butts. I want to go to heaven. Um... So imagine this. The year is 2001. Pop has been dominating the radio. You don't know what the fuck to do because you're from America and you suck. The Strokes say, you know what we're going to do? We're going to release a guitar rock poppy album and they're going to have the catchiest riffs, the catchiest choruses, and the catchiest hooks of all time. And so then they did that. The album is cited as being one of the most important rock indie rock albums of the decade. Um, it came out in 2001. You like the Arctic Monkeys? You like Franz Ferdinand? You like the Libertines? Like Catfish and the Bottlemen? You like the Kings of Leon? You, you've got the Strokes to think, and that's a good thing, because this album really changed uh, indie guitar rock for a minute. And it's still, its legacy is still, I mean, it's so, it's so catchy, guys, you don't understand. So it turns out this lighter is getting very, very hot to hold, and if it keeps going out, I'm probably going to burn my finger off. But let's talk about this record for a second, because it's 35 minutes of just pure killer, no filler. Uh, I think it's 13 songs. All the guitar riffs, all the choruses, the opening track, Is This It, is probably the most mellow and um, angsty and um, moody of all the songs. It just keeps repeating, Is This It. I would say it sets the mood incorrectly, makes it seem kind of gloomy, but then it goes right into the next track, The Modern Age, or just comes off with this fucking fuzzy indie guitar that just fucking fills the whole track, and like, damn, this is really fucking catchy. And then Julian Casablancas comes on? Holy shit, this guy sounds like he's singing through a ham radio, but holy god, if it doesn't sound perfect. And he has this like indie rocky, like punky big thing going on in his voice. Sounds like the kind of guy that wears a Thrasher t-shirt that can actually do a kickflip. If you can, if you're wearing Thrasher t-shirts and you can't do a kickflip, you need to stop and then learn to kickflip and then start wearing Thrasher t-shirts again. Sorry to get sidetracked there. So it's a really important thing. It's really important. The third track on the record, my favorite, is Soma. It's a fucking bop. It, if, if you put any of these songs on at a party with some friends, we're, or in the car, not really a party, because party you want to hear, you know, you want to hear ski mask and you want to hear fucking shit you can boogie to. But if you're riding around cruising with your friends and want to listen to some little indie rock tunes, like like group love, now you're getting bored of group love and fucking catfish, you know, put if if you put on any of these songs and they're like, man, this isn't tight, like tell them to leave the car because they're obviously incorrect and they shouldn't actually be your friend. Ow, fuck, that's really, 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 really hot. Like, owie, that's really hot. Jesus Christ. So I made a mistake. The lighter is really fucking hot. I lost all my lighters, so that's really cool. Um, I'm going to go more on the track listing real quick. Um, another standout track is Someday and Last Night. Those two tracks are fucking phenomenal. Uh, this is just what I kind of assume New York sounds like all the time. Um, it's very New York. It's very punk. It's very raw and full of fuzz and distortion. It's, it's phenomenal. Um... Some, there's some really standout lines on it that I'm sure you guys will put in your uh, 
Instagram bios and your captions because you're really original and cool. No disrespect, I do the same shit too. I post completely autistic nonsense. The point is, boys, the record is 35 minutes. If you don't have enough 35 minutes in your day to listen to this record, you definitely should. It's all killer, no filler. If you don't like it, please tell me why so I can have you euthanized because there's no reason not to love this record with your whole heart. Um, my name is Seth. I'm just type music, and hopefully my power gets on soon. How did you... How did you do that? Are you... Me? Hi. If you're me... No, I'm... I'm here. If you're me, then who am I? You... I'm you. Let me get this straight. We're but, both me. But you're you too? Like, you, I'm you, but you are also you too. Like, I'm you, but you're also I me. I don't you know? even know how that makes sense. But the power works? I don't want to be in so mean. The power works. I don't, I don't even know how that makes sense, out, but the power works. Yeah, I thought we could play, like, Smash. That's cool. I, that's, that's cool, me. What are you, are you staying here? You're just gonna, you're just, you want to play Smash something? Do you have any... Do you have any, like, Pop-Tarts? I'm kind of hungry. I've been hanging out upstairs all day. Power didn't work till now. I didn't get to eat anything. I'm pretty hungry, dude. I just want to eat, man. Yeah, we can play Smash, but you need three controllers, dog. Yo, why would I need three controllers? Oh, hi. Oh, fucking Christ.